Greetings all, Shane Bruce, Resto Mod Daisy, and I just wanted to give the viewership a preview of the weapons we'll be using later on this month for the next crazy rain shoot. That's right, decided to go ahead and keep about 14 guns on hand at all times so that when we do one of these crazy range events, we'll have plenty of selection for our guests to pick from. As you can see, these have all been resto modded. They're all Daisy small frames. There are different models though. And they all have unique and special features, although they do sport the same internal packages. A Cobalt 327 mainspring for added power, a 764th overbore airbore air tube for added power, new seal sets for the best seal we possibly can put on them, the compression chambers have been polished, and they've been lavished with tender loving care, and of course, either curly maple stock sets or colored maple stock sets. As you can see, we have two red, red riders, and one Chiquita and one just yellow daisy, as well as a cherry daisy with a figured cherry stock and two mare's legs. So let's start here on the left-hand side of the show. This is a basic 1938B, been cut back, made into a mare's leg. It's pretty zippy, got the finger group foregrip on it, got the large loop lever. This one runs about 319. Pretty amazing when you think about it. Next up is our Cherry Special. It's a, uh, let's see, what was this? A model number 111 Daisy, which is a pre-78 Daisy. It's got cherry wood on it, finished bright. Has the warp drive air tube by Terry Calgar. This should be an interesting gun to shoot at the range event. And a large uh, lip lever and a figured cherry stock. Next up is a 1938B. No, that's a 1938, pre-78. Uh, it's got uh, some recovered maple stocks that didn't have a whole lot of character to them. Oh, excuse me. That's actually a factory set that's been refinished. Oh, damn. God, yeah, I know. i got so many guys to keep track of them. Next up, Chiquita. You saw her in a couple videos back. She's a pretty, da pretty daisy. Pretty daisy. Number 111 Model 40. Did really well in the last shoot. Looking forward to seeing how it performs in this shoot. Next up is Red Red Rider number two, and this is another Model 111. It's got a uh, not so figured maple stock tinted red, large loop lever, high speed four end, been left as a rattle trap daisy, so we can hear somebody shaking BBs on the range. Then the Red Red Rider number one, also a number 1938, with a slightly better figure on the stock and the uh, high speed magazine. Then back to the back corner, we've got serial number one, legend. Legend in its own mind, legend in my mind. Underneath it, a number 111, one of my favorite uh, receivers to build, uh, set up with a super slim, super skinny stock. On and underneath that is a super skinny slim gym, number 1938, model 1938, got a factory lever, it's got the super slim, slim gym and the super slim forearm on it. If you'll roll back up to that, this is really different for me because it's so tiny compared to the regular forearm that I put on a gun. Next up after this, this is the Curly Maple Flamer, model 1938, and it's got kind of a flame maple finish on the stock. It looks really good. Uh, uh, Metal Daisy Trigger, got the package on it, just like everybody else. Down here's another 111. This is a screamer. This gun breaks 400 feet a second every now and then when you're not looking. Uh, nice curly maple stock. Here's our uh, Buzz Spartan Special with the super funky sight package and the curious side loading gate. Not the speediest gun in the match, not the speediest gun in, in the shop, but kind of a cool gun. And of course, the last mare's leg, 1938B cut down. So, that's a rundown of all the guns we're going to have available for the shoot, the upcoming shoot. And we will also try to get a uh, preview of the range itself up. This is a departure. We're not using the castle set this time. This time the theme is UFO invasion at a drive-in movie in 1956. Should be fun. Well, that's all we've got today for you kids. This is Shane Bruce with Resto Mod Daisy, signing off.